Hey guys, we just got delivered today and we're going to finish off the filtration on the 45 gallon reef tank. Take a look. Hey guys, so as I mentioned, we just got a delivery. Uh, we're going to finish off the filtration for the 45 gallon reef tank. The final piece of the puzzle comes to us from Algae Barn. Uh, so I guess you guys know what's in here. Uh, it's basically just a small amount of clean chato because I don't want anything else going on in the going into the 45. Any other problems? No bubble algae, no Aptasia, nothing. So uh, I went with Algae Barn, um, not sponsored by any means. Uh, and then I also got some of their 5280 pods and that's because I'm simply just trying to get this system up and running as quickly as possible so that way I can get the corals that are uh, kind of in a holding pattern back in their homes. So let's go ahead and get this stuff unboxed and we'll get the uh, get it put in the sump. Alright so here's the box. Uh, I ordered this on Monday. It shipped out yesterday which was Tuesday and because I live in Albuquerque, you know, quick five hour drive from Denver, I actually got this uh, less than 24 hours after it shipped. As you can see, it comes from Denver, Colorado. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's inside. I've used uh, Algae Barn before um, for their cocoa pods. I don't think I've gotten any other algae in the past. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I was able to see the 75 with it. Of course, you got your uh, your sticker. But yeah, I was able to see the 75 with them, and it's now got a healthy population. And this is the way it comes packaged in this very soft packing material. So there's my Cheeto, the clean Cheeto, as you guys will see there. Focus, focus, there it is. And I ordered a golf ball size, but that's definitely more than a golf ball. I mean, no golf ball takes two palms of a hand, so that's good to know that I got more than what I paid for. And then here is the pods. And again, normally you don't have to seed uh, copa pods, but I'm trying to get this system back up and running as quickly as I can. So hopefully this will help do that. And I doubt this camera is good enough to pick up the pods in the glass, but I guess you got a quick little one. But let's go ahead and get them in the tank and it's super easy install today. All right, so here we are in front of the uh, tank where the uh, refugium section is right there. We're gonna go ahead and just throw this uh, chato in there and let it float around. Oh, it's still pretty moist. Uh, kind of like the little Ziploc bags that they gave you better. Let's see. Right, that's like a little Chia Pet. Uh, smells clean. So we'll just go ahead and throw that in there. And then my, uh, my light runs on a reverse night cycle, a reverse day cycle. So this LED will come on at night. And that should help the uh, Cheeto take off. Now as far as the uh, copal pods go, what I'm going to do is turn off the skimmer and the return pump for, I don't know, probably about half an hour and uh, just pour these guys into the tank. And I can see a bunch of little things floating around in there. Oh, this lid's on tight. So there we go. Take off the seal, turn off the skimmer, and then we're also going to turn off the return, just for just for a little bit. Just pour these guys in there. And so I poured most of them in there, and then the rest I'm just going to. Oh, there goes the, the siphon breaking. But I'm going to just pour the rest up into the display. Also, just one little thing in case you guys go to any uh, frag swaps or reef club meetings or anything like that or you just need to carry frags around. 
if you ever make a purchase from Algae Barn, they give you these plastic jars, and they're good little uh, ways to transport your frags home. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. We got the uh, copepods and the Cheeto added. Um, and that's gonna wrap up the, the build portion. Now it's just gonna be a matter of adding everything else back to the tank. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day and keep on reefing.